The streets of Paris are often described as a work of art in themselves. Now perhaps even more so, the French sculptor Etienne has unveiled his new collection of seven works, inspired, he says, by the philosophy of Plato, and which invoke beauty, truth and kindness. Saskia O'Donoghue reports. The streets of Paris have become a work of art. Artist Etienne has unveiled his collection of seven bronze sculptures in the creative Saint-Germain district of the French capital. In effect, it's now a public art gallery. The sculptor was inspired by the ideas of Plato, the ancient Greek philosopher, to create his works. He explained that his aim was to portray simplified human forms which convey an image of pure beauty. La beauté m'intéresse profondément. Beauty profoundly interests me. For me, beauty is a guarantee of permanence, and that also applies to a spirit of hope. Saint-Germain, in the 6th arrondissement of Paris, is a fishing area indeed for its new icons. The district has long been a centre for philosophers such as Simone de Beauvoir and Jean-Paul Sartre, and artists including painter Giovanni Giacometti. As well as including images of books and pens, which are a nod to the philosopher's tools, many of the sculptures contain references to doves. Etienne explained that the birds represent peace and convey a hopeful message for mankind. La colombe, c'est pour moi... For me, the dove is a link between the sky and the earth. For me, the dove is also an artistic element with all the symbolism that it offers, peace, and all that it has been carrying throughout the story of humanity. The reaction from this American tourist was enthusiastic. I think they evoke um, reading and the joy of reading, uh, particularly the two on the other side uh, with the bird and the books. Um, and to me, that's a wonderful thing, and, I, and I'm glad to see it um, included in the sculpture. The perfectly formed works, some of which measure up to two meters in height, will be shown in Paris until the 10th of November. Saskia O'Donoghue, BBC News.